All right, for our next question, when we think of well-being, many people often think of the physical impacts of SMA, but we all know that there is so much more to it than that. Um, and it's important that you take care of and prioritize not only your physical health, but mental and emotional health as well. So Megan, how do you kind of take care of your well-being and why is that important to you? I actually love this topic because I am a firm believer that I cannot be the best version of myself if I'm not taking care of myself. Um, and that pours into everything else, right? So, I mean, from, like you said, it's not just, you know, the physical, but it is, you know, from taking my vitamins daily and eating well, um, but also like feeding what my soul needs and what my desires are and um, talking to counselors, things like that, um, you know, doing the, the things that I need, whether it's reading a book or whatever that looks like, um, it all affects how my life functions. I can tell when I have not set time aside for what I need. Um, and that pours back into my family, into my friendships, into my job. Um, it's really all connected. And so I try really hard to prioritize um, what those what those needs are. Yeah, um, I, I, I would agree with, um, with Megan that, um, you know, there's things that we need to do to keep ourselves healthy, not just physically, but emotionally too. And, um, and so for me, um, a lot of that is uh, just keeping those friends that I talked about earlier, keeping them around um, to, to speak truth into my life and um, be an encouragement and also just, um, just being around them, <laughs> you know, is, is good and, and life giving. Um, and then, um, you know, for me also my, um, my faith is a, a big thing for me. And, um, as Megan mentioned, and, and I'm sure Bree is also going to mention, um, a good book, having a good book nearby is, uh, it's profoundly important. I had a, a roommate a few years ago. I asked him, when do I seem the most myself? And he said, when you're in, like our kitchen reading a good book. And I was like, all right, so I need to do more of that. So, yeah. Yeah, I, yes, amen to that. Um, I, um, I love reading so much. And that is one way that I kind of refill my cup and, and rest. Um, and also just like as a storyteller, engaging with stories that I haven't created. Like, you know, like books, video games, movies, comic books, just anything that I can kind of soak it in and just enjoy it is so nice. Um, and just, I think more importantly, allowing myself to rest. You, you know, I, I have delusions of grandeur, like, I like to think I have way more energy than I actually do. Um, and then I just, I burn out. I'm always like this close to burning out at any given moment. So I think the, the older I get, um, the more important it is for me to realize that I push myself too hard for one thing, and also that, you know, my energy and my, my abilities are finite and I can't do everything and that's okay. That's not a reflection on who I am as a person. It's just how things are. Um, and so for me, the key to my being is like recognizing but also honoring my limits and what I can do. I totally hear you. Uh, I have to give praise to my wife uh, without her, I wouldn't have well-being probably, or I'd be very bad at it. Um, and so, uh, you know, she is always helping me relax. And uh, when I'm feeling anxious or uh, worried about something, she really brings me back and helps me center. Um, I also find that, you know, putting my mind onto something uh, like work or just some activity, um, I, I think I am most anxious when I'm not really doing anything. So um, 
I take on a variety of projects so that I'm always way too busy and that's not advice, but um, it does help me kind of feel busy and not, you know, ruminate on things too much and that's helpful. Zarek, what about you? I couldn't agree more with all of you. Self-care is so important. I've learned over the years that the best way for me to take care of myself is to pay attention to my body, whether it be emotionally, mentally, and or physically. In the past, I made the mistake of pushing myself way too far. To this day, I regret it. It took a really big toll on me physically. So going forward, I've learned I need to listen to my body to give myself a better quality of life. Thank you for sharing that. Um, we are having such a thorough and amazing conversation here that we're running up on time and we're going to be respectful of everyone's time. So we're going to skip over our last few questions and get to the Q&A now. Um, but I just want to reiterate how thankful I am for all of our panelists in sharing your experiences and thoughts. It was very eye-opening for me and I'm sure for everyone in attendance.